Man, what's LaCroix have to say to us? What did I tell you? It's all over the police radio. Do you comprehend the consequences of your what? actions? What? This kind of exposure reeks of the supernatural in mortal eyes. Even the Sabbat aren't this careless. So? I explicitly asked you not to harm any of the police officers. I'm only going to tell you this once. If you break the masquerade, if we are exposed, pray that the mortals kill you. For every kindred on this planet will hunt for your blood. I'm losing my patience. What did you see on the ship? The decks were washed with the blood of seamen. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Uh, bloody hands crept out from within and made wonderful patterns all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in... The parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Huh? Sure. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Hmm. Grout, I cannot find this name. I should not go. Or if it yes. pleases you. Uh, about Grout, as I said, Grout is the Malkavian Primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. My body moves now. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. I'll be back. Uh, it's a shame I just completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot about not fighting the people on the ship, but that's fine. I didn't need whatever the benefit of that was. Now, I need one, I need three more points for getting another obfuscate. Gwen says, uh, VTMB looks great in this aspect ratio. Yeah, I think so. Going somewhere? Bodily functions are denied for me now, just drive. Grouts Mansion. I don't think there's much for us to do here except this. Nines Rodriguez. You. What are you doing here? Wandering, or just hoofing around this hood. Out now. Huh? Do you also seek the missing Malkavian? You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Your mouth is making mystical mush. This music is so good. Countered nines at Grout's Mansion, he seemed a bit out of sorts. He certainly did seem out of sorts. What kind of sorts? I don't know. So Grout's Mansion is based on a famous mansion in LA. It doesn't look quite like this, but it is relatively fa uh, famous. Ah, uh, it's just very exaggerated in this game. Gwen says, I could see you being a Malkavian if I were a vampire in real life. Uh, I would definitely, I don't think, be a Malkavian. I think I would probably end up being a, uh... Well, my favorite clan is Salubri, uh, but, uh, or, uh, Hakata. I would probably be a Hakata in real life. It's probably what I would be if I had to pick one. But... Or a La Sombra. I don't think I'm that insane. Like, I, I'm not I'm not quirky enough to be a Malk.
<laughs> Crux says Malkavians wear Converse to prom. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. Audio logs. I'm logs. thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse 50 years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. <laughs> so this game's got audio logs. That is the quirked up Malkavian mansion. <laughs> Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time. Insane asylum. Cannot identify this item. Perhaps you should finish eating the soul donut. You need research skill of at least two to use this item. I have a research skill of at least two. I lament their loss, not only as broker. Weak a pog thistle. Petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned, but vampires can benefit from its shamanistic magic. All the same increases defense by one point. Ooh. Rich houses for the breadth and depth of human psychoses. But also, I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels. The odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors. That gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams. The muttered cursing at perceived enemies and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Eh. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Perception at once shapes the mind and rolls over time. Time, however, erodes human perception, and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. Oops. All right, this must be perception, time, and mind. So perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. So this is going to be a riddle. Hmm. 
So perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Hmm. Time erodes human perception and in turn warps the mind. Oh, God, I keep pressing escape by accident. Oh, I see. It's just telling us how to get them turned on. And we need both. Or we need all three on at once. There we go. He's coming. All right, let's uh, drink. Drinking is just the best way to kill enemies in this game. So we pulled that, that opened that. This is supposed to be like the Winchester Mystery House. Drive says the sound design for this game is just top tier. That it is. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. Feral. That's the first time I've ever heard it pronounced like that. Look, he's dead. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. How deep, how deep and cool. You're so cool, Grout. I bet you love indie music and art films.
This is a cool, this is cool. I would kill to have this. I'm sure it would be the worst to clean up, but like, man, just this game's like sky boxes are so beautiful. I love this. I wish more games looked like this. Ugh. It's so simple and it's, it's so small, right? It's just a black background, some fog, some clouds the modeled skyline which is like pretty low poly or whatever and then just little dots zooming um here i'm gonna save really quickly i mean this is so cool look at that so obviously every map is like part of the skybox as well there's miniaturized sections so like this is this is what it looks like from above. Right? In miniature. So beautiful. It's really cool. Cool design. And you have the Hollywood Hills back here. It's an area I lived near when I lived in LA. Pretty cool. Pretty accurate. These honestly all look just like pictures of the Hollywood Hills. This I'm pretty sure is really close. This is an actual picture of a building that I'm pretty sure is close to where Kevin Smith lives. It was Ben Affleck's old house. Uh, and then if you go over here, you can see, as you see, all of the lights that zoom around are actually just kind of floating little pieces, just little planes. And then when we back out, it shows us a zoomed in version. It's where we played. And you can see over here, the skyline is just like a cheap little, cheap little box, see? I think if we go far enough in that direction, we can go there, but yeah, kind of cool. There's no clip still on, it is not. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, that's just a cool little piece that I, I like to show off, kind of neat. God, this game is beautiful. Oh wait, this is the room I just was in, I think. Did I just get turned around or is it palindromic? Does it look exactly the same? I don't remember. I think it is deliberately confusing. So I we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I am uh no. Okay, it isn't. <laughs> Poor crazy Malkavian ghoul. Drinker blood. Quinn says, I love this level's music. Me too. It's good stuff. Can't go there. That's locked. Can go through this one, I think. Yes, and this leads us back. To a mirrored version of the mansion we were in, I think. Interesting. This is a cool trick. So, we just killed these two. But there are two right there, huh? 
What's going on with that, huh? Huh? What's going on with that? After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means my own. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Oh, spooky. Carl Fong. I'll read that in a moment. Oh, oops. <laughs> that was silly. Turn that to open. Turn that one to open. Now we should be able to turn this one to open. And this one to open. What does this get for us? Hold on, close. Close. There we go. Look at that, we made it through. Look at that. One extra experience awarded, interesting. Alright, we got in there. I want to go check where that led. But I do not actually remember that room. At all. Whatsoever. And there was a different area to go to. Was it this way? Yes. But I don't remember what over here even is. bottle that'll sell for quite a bit what do I need how many lock pickings do I need here blood elder vitae Ooh, that seems pretty darn good The Vitae, I guess, is actually what it's called, not Vitae. Ah! How oh, dare you? Time to bleed them dry. <clears throat> Where does Elder Vitae fall in the vampire uh, snack list? Pretty high. I think it's the best healing item in the game, if I remember correctly. 
Laboratory refrigerator key. I don't need that. That was cool. Okay, so this gave us like a little, little encounter room. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of illness or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Where does this lead? These are all of his observation cells. Man, I don't remember this part of the mansion basically at all. Maybe the last time I played I just never came down here? Very likely. Very high possibility of that. Heal up that aggravated damage. Howdy, what is down here? What is this? Just another, just a dead body? Okay. And then a platforming challenge. All right. This is interesting. This must be a part of the patch that I just never encountered before. Ah. I love restored content. It is so fun. Is this place? The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past <laughs> and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Intriguing. Yeah, I d don't remember this section at all, basically. Maybe it loops into an area that I'm familiar with. Because we, I think we just skipped a pretty significant portion of the level. That's what it feels like. I feel like I'm walking around Hill House right now. <laughs> is in here. Oh yeah, the church. What's up, what's up, dog? He looks cool. Famous doctor dies in accident. 28th, February 1925, the unrecognizable corpse of renowned shrink Dr. Alistair Grout was found in his burning car as it crashed in the Hollywood Hills today.
yeah, we skipped like this whole section. So I, I unfortunately, by nature of going the route that I did, skipped all the wacky Malkavian parts of the house. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, you fall into here and then have to go this way. Man, if I could pick up multiple knives, I'd be so rich by now. I'd be filthy rich. And then it looks like it's outside even though it's indoors. It's so cool. <laughs> Such a fun area. So sweet. All right, I'm glad I got to show that off. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the Vampire Society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Hmm. All righty. How intriguing. So he was staked, staked down on multiple parts of his body and then turned to ash. Very interesting. And it looks like that was his wife in the glass jar. Crowd's killer, you're not mine. Crowd is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Hmm, got a time frame on that one? Oh, wait. Where are your manners? How about an introduction? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Grünfeldbach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All 
agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the Archfiend Lacroix. I'm coming <laughs> for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Much talk, little sense. All right, well, the mansion's on fire now, which is unfortunate for us because we don't like fire. Fire, in fact, is is not fun for vampires at all. We really don't like it. We can't go that way. Grout is ash, which is weird. So the reason why I said it was weird earlier is because, uh, very specifically, can't go that way. Can't go up there. Oh God, we're on fire. Oh boy. Ah. We suffered our final death. Uh, the reason why I said it's weird is because uh, vampires, their whole bodies should turn to ash completely. So it's it's it makes it seem like that might not be his body. And also, stakes don't kill vampires; they just paralyze them. So, just kind of intriguing. Fire makes vampires frenzy, or at least have to check for frenzy, because they really don't like it. I don't remember the way out. This way? Yes. Hey, stop right ah! back as we can. For some reason, two shots from the Glock will kill them when it takes two shots for the revolver, which does more damage. Many people believe that Grout faked his own death to avoid being uh, caught by whoever it was that he thought was hunting him, which presumably is Grunfeld Bach or whatever his name is. Good evening to you. <sighs> Garfield Bach. In, yes, indeed, Garfield. Shameless killer of, of men, Garfield. <laughs> None the wiser. You have viewed the charred remains of Alistair Grout. You should probably inform the prince about his demise. We have 10 experience points. We can buy another level of obfuscate, which we needed. Yay. Souls draped in rotten tatters. Even in there. Father dances Come, in the dark. Smells like someone burnt the burgers. Hmm. Plug it for, from your mind. I should already be upstairs. Uh, sure, I'll open it up for you. Do you think I could go for one of them double spaced burgers? With the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Ooh. Going up. The Primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. We no longer hear the voice of Grout. 
Crowd's dead. What? Who is Bach? Why does he want to set me on fire? Bach. Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Grout was not hunted, he was disposed of. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Grout minus Bach equals nines. He was the sum I saw first. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? Hmm. This one does not know, but he knows something was not Nines. Then it means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. This also is very important, so I need to call upon your skill once more. The Ankaran sarcophagus was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I would like you to bring it back here for safekeeping. Dogs fetch, I... Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. My pockets are hungry. Yes, of course. Uh... Here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for that task. This will speed the sarcophagus to you. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. <laughs> uh, I'll take this field trip to the museum now. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. The, that was interesting. The game just, like, tweaked out for a second. Wow. Done as good. <laughs> interesting. Piecemeal Ravioli says, gotta go to bed. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Hope you had a fun time. Carol Fang. This heavy fang could only belong to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel at ease knowing there's one less of those in the world. Decreases your chance to frenzy. Very cool. Very helpful. Elder Vitae. This bag contains extremely potent blood. The nose and wares, or the hows and wares of its origin are probably less be best left unexplored. Interesting. Well... We now have more stuff to do. We have to go to the museum without killing anyone. Uh, and I believe Pisha wanted us to get some stuff from the museum as well. So two birds with one stone.